All right. What if I told you there was a man who was groomed to be a priest but went into law instead? Now, adding to be a lawyer, he also went on to be a best-selling author. Oh, yeah, let's not forget he is also fourth-generation psychic. Wow, well, you might say it sounds like a character in a movie, but it's actually real. So real that Mark Anthony is that man, and he is actually here with us this morning. Mark, so great to have you here. Thank you. I've been really excited to meet you because you're obviously very interesting. You have just had this book released in March, Evidence yes. of Eternity. Yes. And I definitely want to get into that. But first, I just want to know, you know, what was it like growing up as a psychic? When did you first even realize you had this? At about age four, I started seeing invisible friends. And what was different about my life than some of my colleagues who are psychic mediums is that both my parents had these abilities. And I'll never forget my dad going, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my parents were very good about it. And they also told me, just keep it at home. Let's not talk about it outside of the house. So at age four, they realized that I had inherited uh, the gift of mediumship. And I talk about that in Evidence of Eternity on the, the genetics. Because there's a lot of reasons that, there's reasons why you look like your parents or that certain uh, intelligence traits and certain physical abilities run in families. And from what we can tell based on studies done at UCLA and at uh, universities in Australia is that psychic ability appears to be one of those traits. Wow, that's so interesting. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, Mark. When we say psychic and then we say lawyer, I automatically think they're kind of like polar opposite professions. <laughs> Do they ever, you know, conflict with one another? Well, it's part of my skill set. Yeah. So, and, and people assume that I'm all knowing and all yeah. seeing. God is. I'm not. <laughs> this gives me insights. But both jobs are about evidence. As an attorney, I have to have evidence to prove my case in court. And as a psychic medium, I have to bring forth evidence to verify that the spirit who's communicating is who, who he or she says they are. But I've, I've certainly uh, encountered my, my share of ridicule and, uh, in, in the legal system. However, a lot of attorneys and a few judges have come to see me for private sessions. Wow. So wow. the legal system's a bit more open-minded than you might think. I think, well, I think that's very true. And, and one of the theories that I actually find really fascinating, you call it grief, crime, grief. Yes. So I guess explain to us how grief and crime kind of go together. In my work as an attorney and as a psychic medium, I've done readings for thousands of people. And, and I've never encountered a drug addict or an alcoholic who was a happy person. Mm -hmm. So I started seeing that in most of my clients who had impulsive behaviors, predatorial behaviors, uh, addictive behaviors, that somewhere in their childhood or early developmental years, there was an unresolved death. And because we're not all from families like, like we're from, where our parents will sit down and talk to us. So unresolved grief then can lead to destructive behaviors. So let's say someone becomes an alcoholic, gets behind the wheel of a car, then kills somebody else. Their grief led to committing criminal behaviors, which then inflicted grief upon other people. And I've seen this like I said, thousands of times. And so what I try to do, both as an attorney and as a psychic medium, is let's get to the root of the problem. Get these people into grief counseling. Even if the death occurred 20 or 30 years ago, it's still gnawing at us. And what I talk about in Evidence of Eternity is that grief doesn't have an expiration date. And so you have to deal with that. And once you do, you'll start finding why you're sad, why you're self-medicating through drugs or alcohol. Well, and I know this book has a lot of different uh, theories and concepts and things that you've yes. encountered throughout your year. And actually, we have something uh, very, uh, an honor for you that this book has just been mentioned for that you told us during the commercial break. Yeah, I received notification from Columbia University that it's been submitted for a Pulitzer Prize. And That's so amazing. I was very, very honored just to be mentioned yes. uh, in that. Well, congratulations to you. Obviously, this is an amazing book. It's something that a lot of people should be picking up, but it's actually your second book. You have it another is. book, Never Letting Go. So what's yes. kind of the difference between these two books, Mark? Never Letting Go is a guide on the journey through grief, and it's helped people worldwide. In fact, it's being recommended by hospices and grief counselors uh, from, from California to New Zealand and, and in the United Kingdom and Australia. And Evidence of Eternity explains spirit communication by removing the fear and superstition and explaining it on the basis of science, theoretical physics, and human physiology. So it's not a woohoo book, and that's why it's been endorsed by the top near-death experience researchers in the world and why 
it's been submitted for a Pulitzer. Well, I, I'm, this book obviously is amazing, and I know people are going to want to get a hold of this. And the great news we're here to say is that people are going to get an actual opportunity uh, to meet you and to see you, and you're, that's why you're in town. Yes, tonight at the Unity, excuse me, the Unity Church of Tucson on North Camino uh, Blanco, I'll be doing a demonstration and a talk where I'll be connecting audience members with their loved ones in spirit. And both my books, Never Letting Go and Evidence of Eternity, will be on sale. And that's at 7 p.m. tonight. I believe you guys have a graphic yep. which will give folks how to get in touch. And I'm, I'm very excited being here in Arizona. Just from the feedback I've gotten on Facebook and, and meeting the people I have since I've arrived, this is great. And where, of course, can we get the book itself besides tonight? Uh, Barnes & Noble, all fine bookstores, certainly at the Unity Church of Tucson's bookstore. It's on Amazon, Walmart.com, and uh, BarnesandNoble.com. And I guess I've arrived because I understand it's on eBay, too. Now. And it's on eBay. <laughs> That's how you know you've arrived. Mark, thank you so much for stopping thank in. Thank you, Tina. And thank you so much uh, for telling us more about this great book. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Heather. And you can see Mark Anthony tonight again at 7 p.m. at Unity Church of Tucson. Now, for tickets, call 577-3300. And for more information about the books, you can visit evidenceofeternity.com.